I happen to believe you can't have a proper dinner party without a pie. So I'm gonna show you how to make a real crust. If you keep watching, you might learn a couple things today. <clears throat> now you only really need three ingredients to make a good pie. Water, flour, and some fat. So I like to use shortener. That's how you get a good texture in a pie. We added the shortening into the flour here and I'm doing what's called cutting it in. So we could use the right tool for the job, which would be a pasty, pastry blender, but this is the way my grandma Dee Dee taught me with a fork, so I prefer this anyway. Now, when you add your water, this is the most important part to a good crust. One tablespoon at a time. Not any more than that. Put in a tablespoon, mix that section of dough, and then you put in your next in a dry area. I lied. Yes, I'm going to tell you. There's two most important parts. So the other important thing is the reason I add the water in one tablespoon as a, at a time is we don't want to over mix this. All we want to do is get it together. So we put in just enough water and do just enough mixing so that we can pack it together. And that's it. Now once we get it at the right consistency, I got my helper. Say hi. Mm. Just got to squish it into a ball. Just get it packed together how you can. Got them rolled out. I'm gonna leave them sitting here on the table for 10 or 15 minutes. The room temperature helps to kind of bring the dough together. Before I roll this out, I like to just take my take my ball and get it flat. We got the crust rolled out here. Are you pouting? <laughs> anyway. I prefer to use a French rolling pin, you'll see. It's a pin, it doesn't have those like handles on the end, it's just tapered so it's thicker in the middle and gets thin. I would say we are ready for the oven. I just like to do a little pinched crust here. I just walk along. Um, pinch together and then cut off the extra.